Jim Bob Fred. I had some folks ask, how do you identify the fastest way and the most efficient way to unlock their next higher tier troop type? Which is a great question. You know, the game's not super intuitive in telling you uh, what you have to research along the way to get things open. So a lot of people are spending some time and effort researching things that aren't helping them to get to their next goal. So this video is designed specifically to help folks figure out why or how to maximize your research to get the goal that you want next. And what I'm going to share here with troop type is applicable to anything else that you want to research. It's pretty straightforward. I'm also going to, at the end of the video, just explain why I only have one barracks in my town. People think I'm crazy. But there's a really good reason, at least from my perspective there is, and I'll get to that in a second. So when you are unlocking troops, you have to do that in your academy. Um, I have my academy over here just off of center. It's at level 18, so I'm going to go ahead and be able to go in that bad boy and get into the research tab. And when unlocking troops, you do that from the combat tab. Um, I can't show you how to unlock T2 or T3 because I already have them unlocked. So I'll just scroll all the way to the right here. And let's just say that I'm working on unlocking carbine riders, right? That's, that'd be my first T4 troop that I want to um, unlock if that's what I'm working on. And I am, just so you know. Jim Bob Fred account is all about range. <laughs> anyway, uh, first thing you do is you click on it. And it's going to tell you everything you need to unlock it. And as you can see, it's going to cost a whole lot of resources, but I also have to have these other items accomplished as well. So I got to get Academy to 21, Cowboy Cav Defense at level 10, and Troop March Speed at level 10. And all I do is I click on the Go To button, and it tells me which one I can do next. So I already have this at level 4, but I got to get to 10. So... I would grab the resources that I need and I start my next research on this one to get it to 10. Doing this all along the way, and I'll go back for here for a second and say uh, that's for actual research stuff. You can tell because it's got a little book next to it here and it's got a hammer for construction. If I was trying to figure out what I needed to get my academy to 21, I go here, click on my academy, and it tells me what else I need. So I got to get my town center to 19. Obviously, um, it's not high enough. Got to be town center 21 to get academy 21 so using this methodology it's going to help you identify only those things that you need to get to your next goal that way you're not wasting a lot of time researching other stuff all right enough said there hopefully that answers everybody's questions but why do i only have one barracks people think that's silly because barracks barracks are designed to remember use the information button i'm clicking it here in the lower left hand corner the barracks is where you train powerful troops for attacking. Upgrade it to increase troop training capacity. The higher level barracks you have, the more troops you can train per barracks. So I'm, um, I'm currently at level 17, which means the maximum number of troops I can train is 2,400. If I had two at level 17, then I could train 4,800. So it doubles. every For, for each barracks, you you get whatever level of barracks that troops that you can train in that as well. What it does not do is decrease the amount of time. So if it takes me eight hours to do 2,400 um, troops at one time, if I have two, then it's going to take 16 hours, right? If you got a bunch of troop training speed ups, that's cool. But I don't really care so much as how many I can do because I'm on the game a lot. As soon as one batch is done cooking, I can start another one, right? So ultimately, if I have one at 17 and you have two at 17, you click it once, in 16 hours you have 4,800 troops. I, on the other hand, on the other hand, I have to go in at eight hours and, and reselect 2,400. But at the end of the day, at the end of 16 hours, we both have 4,800 troops. So I'm not going to waste a lot of time and resources upgrading my barracks to get to the same level um, as someone who has two. And by only having one barracks i have more room for cabins and cabins are pretty important for a lot of reasons and here's why they do a couple of things they produce silver and in this game silver is huge when you get the higher levels you need a ton of it right 
So it also produces an amount of silver per hour, and it gives you a maximum amount, but it also reduces troop training time, right? So if I have 10 level one cabins, I get a 10% bonus. It takes me 10% less time to train the same amount of troops as someone who only has one level one cabin. And on top of that, it produces 10 times the amount of silver and the amount of silver capacity that you can hold. <laughs> so from my perspective, it's just way better to have lots of cabins and one barracks as it is to having an equal number of both. That's it for this video, folks. I'm trying to keep them as close to five minutes as possible. Hopefully, if you like what you saw, you'll hit the like button. If you're not already a subscriber, please subscribe. It helps me under, uh, get an idea for whether or not the content I'm putting out there is the content that all of you West game players want to see. Um, and as, as always, it's a game. Have fun. If you're not having fun, pick something else. Looking for you on the next video, folks. Be blessed.